Like most people in Plymouth, for the last 30 years, I've been stood on Plymouth Hoe or at various points around Plymouth Sound, looking at the island, going, wouldn't it be nice to visit that? Wouldn't it be nice if somebody did something? It wasn't an aspiration I had to, to, to uh, work on the island, but um, the opportunity started to present itself and we took a few steps forward and oh, it looks a bit more serious and so on and so forth until the end up at this point. So we've, we've got to this stage and now we need to take it right through to, to a fully working operational site. Could you just give me an outline of your plans? Okay, well, the plans are basically as per the current planning permission that Dan McCauley and, uh, from Rotolock and his team worked up. It's a hotel on there, okay. but we also want to add to that heritage centre. How many years are we looking at before people can actually set foot on there? Very difficult. I mean, it's going to be realistically at least six to seven years, maybe as much as 10, could even at the outside be 15. We've got to go through a number of uh, surveys first. Yeah, that There's a lot of consideration to be given to the environmental matters out there, as well as the historic buildings. At the moment, at this, this stage of the game, it's a little bit difficult to give it a, a time frame um, until we get through that, and then it will start to firm up. No one's been able to go out there for years. Yes. Are you confident that you can deliver this project? Absolutely, because I've delivered complicated things before. And as I say, you know, with my experience and the, and the team that we've built around us, yeah, they've got the experience that it's not just something that they say they can do, they, they can prove they've done it. And uh, I'm absolutely confident, yes, we are going to achieve something.